Hey everybody, I just wanted to go over some new books added into my collection that I've either purchased or received in this last week or two. So the first one, let's go over, is this. It's still in the package, but I cut it a little bit. It's finished breaking the seal. I actually don't know what this is. I won a few books off of Goodreads, and I'm not sure which is the one that came in first. So this book is an advanced copies for Cultures of Growth. The book comes out 3-12-2024. This book down here says how the new science of mindset can transform individuals, teams, and organizations. So it seems like a self-help book and about being mindful and about mindset. So definitely something I hope to get into. I also have purchased five Stephen King books. I'm trying to get a full set of Stephen King books. We're just going to start off with the books that are soft covers and then we'll go into the hard cover. I guess the oldest one I purchased was Wizard in the Glass. This is part of the Dark Tower series. This is Dark Tower Part 4. I don't have the full Dark Tower series. I'm still missing the latter books and so this will help me to complete that. We have Stephen King's The Dark Tower, The Wind Through the Keyhole. This is another Dark Tower book but I think this is like a side story and not part of the actual Dark Tower series, which is a series of seven books. I think this is a side story to that series. I have here uh, Stephen King and Richard Chismar, Gwendy's Final Task. Now, I haven't read any books by Chismar. I do want to get more into his books, but again, I can only read one book at a time. Currently, I'm reading Duma Key by Stephen King. This is Later by Stephen King. This is one of his hard case crime novels. Uh, I just finished reading the Colorado Kid just this month. And so the one I'm missing is Joyland. I love these pictures, the way they look like an 80s novel, you know, like an 80s uh, crime book. This one is a bit bigger than the version I have for the Colorado Kid. The Colorado Kid, I have the smaller version. Hopefully when I get Joyland, I get the bigger version because I do think that these covers look really cool and I do like to appreciate them. Finally, the last book I picked up was Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and his son, Owen King. So they co-wrote this book. One thing I want to mention here is just how the cover has these butterflies on the book. Hopefully you guys could see that. There's a face in the middle with butterflies. And I have a few covers in my collection of books that have butterflies on them. I just thought they looked so cool. One of them is... The Dangerous World of Butterflies, and it has these really cool reflective butterflies on it and on the back. This one was by Peter Lawfer. Another one was Richard Dawkins' The Greatest Show on Earth, and it has all these like reflective foil butterflies on the cover. And the last one is another Stephen King book called The Bazaar of Bad Dreams. This is a hardcover. I love the artwork here with uh, death in the empty forest surrounded by butterflies. And then you have a similar artwork here, but it's inside a face also surrounded by butterflies. These are all the new books I got, the five Stephen King books and the Cultures of Growth. I'm still waiting on two more books to come through the mail and since I don't know when they are going to come, I figured let me just put this out there and when they come I'll do a separate video. I have been reading a bunch of books. I finished Lord of the Flies and I finished H.G. Wells' Time Machine just recently and now I'm on to Duma Key by Stephen King. I'm hoping to get through many many more books than was my originally intended goal. I originally wanted to finish 25 books this year but as it's only the start of March and I've already finished around 10 I feel like I could easily finish 25 and then go well beyond that. So we'll see where I end up. I will be keeping count and hopefully at the end of the year I do a books I've completed video where I show you guys everything I finished for the year. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.